Hey guys. Hi everyone. So we are here in Cologne. It's currently the 6th of December. We're stood here just in front of the uh, famous Lovelock Bridge, which we'll be seeing a bit later on. But we're going to see what we can do in and around Cologne over the next five days. Yeah, so we'll take you along with us. We are also going to be going to the Christmas markets. We've heard they're some of the best in Europe, if not the best in Europe. We will have a separate video for that, but I'll put a few clips in as well along, just so you can see as well. Let's have a look at what we can do. Okay, so in true style, we've started with something you can actually do all year round, which is grab yourself a Kolsch. Kolsch is Cologne's home beer, if you like. You can't call it Kolsch unless it's actually been brewed here, and it tastes fantastic. So this one's Gilden Kolsch which is one of our favourites. We're here in Gilden in the Zim. We're going to get some food as well, so we'll show you what we get. We're still deciding at the minute, but everything looks good. Frost! So the food's just arrived. We've both gone for the same thing. We've got bratwurst with potatoes, and this is a college gravy. We're not quite sure what this sauce is. Possibly like a peppercorn Maybe sauce. Maybe a beer mayo or a mustard mayo or something. Some, Some sort of sauce. We'll try it and we'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to try a little bit of the, uh, the sausage and the potatoes with the college gravy. Mm. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, so one of the things they'll do um, when you're being served Kolsch is they'll, every time your glass is empty, they'll spot it basically, and then they'll just bring you a new one. If you don't want any more Kolsch, put your Kolsch on top of the glass just like this. Yeah. Now, the way that they keep track of it is basically by marking a tally on a separate coaster, which is, you know, simple, but it works. So our hotel's on the other side of Cologne from the cathedral, so we walk in over the Lovelock Bridge sometimes. We might get a tram in the future. But just nice to look over the Rhine. Yeah, so we're actually looking for the lock that we placed here in 2021 because we basically just drew on it with a Sharpie and we're not too happy with it. Um, we're looking for a... So you see these little stickers here? We're looking for one that has a sausage dog in it, basically. And that's how we know where ours is. Here it is, the sausage dog. And if you just look below, we can see our old Lovelock. I mean, we had bought one with a really big loop, so it looks like a lot of people have taken advantage. <laughs> um, but as you can see, it was just kind of written in a permanent marker. So we've got one which is carved now. We're gonna, we're gonna use that one instead. Yeah, nice engraved one. There we go, so here's our new one. I'm not sure you can quite make it out there, but we've got it carved. It says November 2022 on it, even though we're here in December, because we didn't know what month it was at the time, so yeah. Standard lava and Dane stuff. We're gonna, t we're gonna tie this up and throw away the key. There we go, so we've placed it on just above our old one. We've got a brand new one here as well. Um, we've got, actually, we've got three keys, so uh, Laura's gonna chuck one, I'll chuck two. That means it's, that, that means it's cheesy and eternal, so we threw away the keys, so we can't take the padlock off, which means we're together forever. <laughs> Okay, I got mine. You're gonna see my fun throw. <laughs> yeah. Come on, sports, go sports. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, sorry, just splash a little bit there. There we go. So we're just here in Gaffel and Dom. Just got a Gaffel call sheet. He's already finished it. And he has now just got raw pork, mince pork. On some bread. Yeah, this is raw mince pork with bread and onions. Um, we've heard that the quality control here is such that you can just eat raw pork like this and you can get it served here, like any other menu item. But I've down my gaffle calls because I need a little bit of liquid confidence. So I'm going to try it on its own first without eating it. I mean, it has a lot of flavour. It's a bit weird. I'm not sure I recommend it yet because I've only had one bite, but, I would try, but I'm kind of tried it. However, this goes. I, however, have gone for the safer bet and I've got a little pretzel with some butter. So, to be fair, um, the first bite was pretty grim. Well, that was on its own without the red onions. When it was with the red onions, it was pretty good. It had like kind of a, a buttery, peppery texture. It was pretty good. I was just saying to Laura, it was fantastic, and I also wouldn't order it again because every bite you were thinking, I'm eating raw pork here. And if you've grown up on that stuff, that's fantastic, but because it's not, not the norm back in the UK, right? I don't know. It was lovely, and I would have given it again. So I showed the Kolsch before, but it was pretty much an empty glass, so I'll just show it properly. This is the Gaffel Kolsch. This was our favourite last year, and also the one that we tried at Epcot, if you've seen that video. We'll let you know who wins this time. So we're here at the market in front of the Chocolate Museum. What I'm going to do is I'll just put some clips in from the different markets that we visited. And if you want to see the full thing, I'll put the video links up here from down below.
We're on the wheel. We're doing it. We're on the 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 uh, what you call it? Ferris wheel? Not Ferris wheel. What is it? What are these called? I don't know. We're on like I think some call them like the same sort of thing as like a London Eye. Yeah, the big eye. There you go. Oh, we've got the arena over there in the distance. Okay, these are some pretty good views actually. Yeah, really nice view. These fun reverse R-shaped buildings are interesting. I'll look down here. I don't know what they are, but very cool. If you're at Christmas markets time, I highly recommend you come and do this because you get some fantastic views of the city. We're not even as high up as we're going to be yet. Yeah, I was trying to time it so we got it at sunset. So this is perfect. Looks lovely out. See the cathedral there. Ryan just behind me. Oh yeah, that sunset looks really pretty behind. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit just to show it. That cloud doesn't look real. Appreciate this cloud from it. We're rocking a little bit here. <laughs> cloud appreciation day. This is the entrance here to the chocolate museum, which at the moment looks very busy. We did want to go here. We're not sure if we need to pre-book or not, but judging by the level of activity, I would advise pre-booking just in case uh, they're sold out. I'll leave the details down below. I can't tell you how much it smells like lint chocolate. Just stood here at the entrance and here's some lint teddy bears. Just heading into Fruit Am Dom. Dane has gone for the knuckle of pork that is served with mashed potato and sauerkraut. Yeah, you can't see over the massive knuckle of pork, but there you go. Let's go. Oh, it's really fatty, but in a good way. Yeah, that's lovely. That is that so, my meal just arrived. I've got the Wiener Schnitzel, and that comes with some fries and some ketchup. First schnitzel of the holiday. That's really good, it's sort of like an escalo, so it seems very flavourful and the, the meat itself for the pork itself is really tender and easy to eat. The one that I had last year was quite dry, not from here, but yeah, I really like it. A little bit off topic, but one of the buildings here in Cologne has a giant ice cream cone on top of it. Okay, so the street that we're heading towards now, Schildergasse, this is the busiest shopping street in the whole of Europe. And if you look down there, at the minute it's looking pretty busy as well. And this is the view from the cathedral, just basically facing the Rhine. We'll show you the other side with the spires as well. Yeah, I was going to say this is, without the spires it's already pretty intimidatingly tall, but when you go around the other side it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's something. So this is the front of the cathedral. So Cologne Cathedral is the tallest twin-spired church in the whole world. Yeah, it was also the tallest structure ever built by man for a time until 1884. Just look at it. I mean, you should see how high up I'm having to point the camera just to yeah, get to I'm the not top sure. Here. I'm not sure. I hope the camera's doing this justice, but I'm not sure it is. I mean, it's, I feel like it's just going to fall on top of you. Yeah, I just want to say, even though it is really tall, um, the actual detail when you get up and close to the church as well is really impressive. You can probably hear a lot of chirping just above us. I'm not sure if you can make out. There are a ton of birds in these trees, basically. These birds are actually tropical birds that escaped from a local zoo and have since kind of thrived around kind of Cologne and Dusseldorf and other kind of towns and cities across the Rhine. Yeah, they've done... <laughs> incredible. It's just really bizarre. In, in the day, if these migrate down the river, you can see they're, re they're a really brilliant kind of bluish green yeah it's, uh, it's a shame it's dark now okay so we're actually staying on the other side of the river at a place called Deutz and one of the advantages of that is that you have this Cologne view which is basically a huge tower which any member of the public can go in for a small fee and see panoramic views of Cologne opening times are 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, mass compulsory in the elevator and stairwell so just remember that and then Standard admission is five euros, or if you're a group of five people, four euros each. So we're here at the observation deck, and you can actually they have on the glass illustrations of what you're actually looking at. So, for example, we've got uh, Rheinaufen. Yeah, I mean, it is very eerie on this foggy day, actually, but uh, it's really pretty. This is more of a view of the other side of the Rhine. Very pretty architecture here, actually. I didn't realise. Zoom in a little bit here. It's nice looking out at the Rhine at this angle. Yeah, you've got it kind of bending round to the left here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Here you can just see the Alain Excess Arena. Uh, we actually got caught up in uh, traffic from a huge crowd leaving a Blackpink concert that was playing here. Uh, that was fun. From the observation tower here, you can see uh, Deutz Messer Station, 
this slightly grey building here, just on the left, I'm not sure if you can make it out, but that is where Adina is. Okay, so we have a little sign on the glass here which says Dusseldorf, so I assume on a clear day, obviously you can't see it now because it's very foggy, but on a clear day down here, you'll be able to see the city of Dusseldorf. So just here we can see a illustration for Sankt Kunibert, which is just this other very pretty gothic uh, church just over here. I always wondered what this one was called. And here we are over the Lovelock Bridge. I'll put the real name in because I can never pronounce it. Yeah, and obviously the main event in the distance there, the Cologne Cathedral as well. It looks uh, looks really good from this distance. It actually looks kind of small from over here, but we'll, sh we'll show you. We've either already shown you or we will show you it from close up. It's intimidatingly tall. <laughs> it really is. I really like it. It is like a, a gothic structure and in the fog. I really do think it's adding something extra here. Yeah, and to be fair, we're 26 storeys up here and the cathedral is still much taller than this building. So I've gone full tourist and I wanted one of the like press pennies, souvenir coin. So this shows the Lovelock Bridge and the cathedral. This was two euros from a machine just inside the uh, observation building. But yeah, I highly recommend doing that. It was a great way to uh, take in the city from a good observation deck. Like, is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Was a little bit foggy, so if you're looking for the best pictures, try not coming on the last day like we did when it's foggy. Um, <laughs> yeah, get it on a clear day. I think it's good as well because on the glass it shows you what you're looking at because you might not know. You might obviously know the cathedral, but I didn't know half of the stuff, so it was nice to see it. So we're inside Peter's Brow House. We've never been to this one before. They've got their own Kolsch, Peter's Kolsch. I'm really liking the little decorations. And here are our Peter's Kolsch. Having a look at the menu as well. I'm not sure if we'll be getting anything, but we're definitely having Kolsch. So to go along with our Kolsch from Peter's, we've both gone for the half pan, which is a bread roll, butter, cheese, a thick slice of cheese, and onions. So that concludes our holiday here in Cologne over the festive period. Yeah, we uh, we had a fantastic time. Uh, we hope you had a good time watching it as well. If you did like the video, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. I don't know what's going on over there. Ah.